tie in the Apache. We start with thread at the eye of the hook. The hook I'm using is a size 8 with a 3mm bead on the head and the thread that I'm using is Uni 8 one Black. Now you want to run down a bed of tying thread and stop when you get in line with the barb. And just cut or break away the waist piece. Now the tail is going to be marabou, so I've got a nice plume of black marabou here. I'm going to take off a couple of pinches. And then just cut away the cut ends at the end. Now again, just wet your fingers and pull the, all the fluff away from the bottom of the marabou. Makes for a better body if you do this. Now you can keep that fluff and use it for dubbing. I'm just going to chuck that away because I've got about two packets of it in there. Now I'm just wetting the end. Spin it in your fingers. I just keep them together, it makes it like a kind of shuttlecock. You can see the keep the fibres together. Just set that on the top. What I like to do is just run round the body, just with some loose wraps to start with, just pinching loops to start off, and that just keeps the the fibres on top and in order basically. Now I'm gonna come in with a tight lock and turns and make my way back up nice and tight, close. Locking all that down. Coming behind a few times. It just helps. Helps. It doesn't stop the marabou from going round the hook. I'm just going to trim a couple of the wee end fibres off. Just tidy it up basically. There we go. Now, it's a pretty simple fly. And the body. Is a mink strip, a black mink. This is called micro mink. It's been cut half the width. It's about a millimetre. It's about half the width of normal mink strips that you'd use for, you know, lure fry patterns or that. Yeah, this is it here. It's called micro mink from the Glasgow Angling Centre. You get about four or five. No, sorry, three or four in a packet. You get about two or three flies out of each one. Three or, no, two, two or three, four flies out of, out of one packet, uh, one strip, sorry. Now what I'm going to do is just take about an end away, about three quarters of a centimetre. And you're just going to pull these fibres away. Just pull them and out. Now keep this because this makes a fantastic dubbing. And then that is basically, that's what I'm going to use to tie in. But when you're tying it in for the body, if you tie it in with a flat side, like that, so the fuzz facing you, you'll end up winding on the flat side like that. You must tie it in with the, the first side, in this case it's the left hand side, sorry the right hand side. So that has to be, the fourth has to be against the hook when you're tying it in, instead of that. So the back of the strip is against you, towards you, sorry. Set it on the side. Tie that in, nice and tight. You can put wax in your thread to do this if you want. Put a wee bit on here. And I'll come back up, just to make sure it's tied down correctly. And if you want, you can put some flash into the wing. I'll do that just now. Better late than never. the length of the wing a couple of turns then just fold it round catch it down on the other side now I'm just going to bring the thread back up I'm going to cut that once you don't get your mink in with your marabou Just cut them to length. 
Now with the mink, you can wind it and pull the fibres towards the back, much like you do with a hackle. And don't worry because it looks a mess at first, but and it's beautiful fibres, mink. You could use rabbit as well, you just don't get the same you know, like zonker rabbit strips and that, but you just don't get the same movement as you do with a mink. Just wind it up. Just take a turn after the other. You can slightly overlap them if you want. Just pulling back the fibres as you go. Makes a great leech part on this. Cross your thread over once you get to the head, keeping your thread nice and tight. I like three turns and pull everything back, come to the front, and to build up a head, go onto the mink. No, I'm actually going onto the mink. I mean, you could tie off there and have a neat head, but what we're going to do is go onto the mink a wee bit, back for about a millimetre, and come back up. Just start to build up. What that does is it forces the fibres closest to. Uh, cl closest to the head, forces them back, which forces the rest of the fibres back as well. Now just take, come in with your scissors and take your mink strip away. It cuts very easily. But it's strong, it's strong, and it cuts very easily. Now up at the head, but asking why I left that head so big, I'm going to put some, this is winging flash. And it's in the hank form. It looks like kind of Goldilocks' pigtails or something like that. I'm just going to cut a wee bit of this off and I'm going to use it as dubbing. Just dub that on, it dubs very easily. The only thing is, so does your mink. Sometimes we strew fibres try to dub themselves on. And just slide it up. Just start to wind that on. Right up to the head. If there's any wee kind of knots that have come out, just take them away. Turn or two up at the head. Come in with some varnish. Varnish onto the thread. Put a turn or two and then come in with your whip finish. One, two, three, four. Pull it nice and tight. Come in again. One, two, three. That'll do. And that is your Apache trout lure. It's a deadly lure, so it is. There's a lot of movement there because it makes a great leech pattern as well for bass. And that is your Apache lure. This was requested to me, so I hope I've done it some justice and hope you now find it easier to tie. I mean, it is easy, but just take your time with it and remember about the tying in of the mink. That's probably the most important bit. Make sure you've got the fur against the shank of the hook with the bare skin at the back facing you when you're tying it on. And that, you'll find, is a very successful and deadly winter pattern. So, once again, that is your Apache.